y'all, my name is Cherie Dorsett, the founder and creator of The Nakayo Game. Welcome to our online tutorial. Um, for all of you that are interested in how Nakayo works, and if you've purchased the game through our pre-launch, first of all, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into this video. We're doing a hands-on tour on how to play Nakayo, how to facilitate it, and then provide you some tips on how to really create a great experience with your children. We're also going to um, cover what's in the box. So all of you will receive a Nakayo game and it looks like this. And I'm just gonna come a little bit closer here. Um, I love the design of this particular game. There, you know, the design was created, if you can see at the top here, to really depict that there's a war in the heavenlies. And so you have the angels and you have the dove and the dragon representing, you know, the Holy Spirit and good and the dragon representing evil. And so um, the Kayo, if you are in, if you are interested in wondering what the Kayo means, it actually means I win, I prevail, I conquer. And so the idea is to get our children to live the Nakayo life, which is the victorious life. So we purposely chose that name. Um, we felt like it was very fitting for the, the game that we are presenting here. Um, on the front, you'll see that it says join the journey because we believe that this is a movement that will just... Um, really invite you to join the movement of empowering our children to live um, in the 21st century with all of the crazy bombardments, but empowering them to win. And so those are some of the, the themes that you'll see within the Kyle game. And then the cool thing about the game, it says at the bottom, your journey, what is it say? Your journey to win starts now. So it starts as soon as you're playing it. All right, and so now we're gonna talk about what's in the box. So again, you'll, you will all will receive this beautifully designed game box. Um, every game comes with a game board. So the game board has been reworked, reworked and reworked multiple times. I've been playing this game for probably about five years now with my children. Um, we've moved some of the squares around over a period of time to make sure that the game, um, it flows well and that it, it, there's forward momentum. In the box, you will expect one, two, three, four, five different decks. Um, the treasure chest deck, the comforter, the armor, the trial cards, and then the let's chat um, decks. So the game, um, you know, it is full of five different decks. And in a moment, I'll go over the purpose of each deck. Um, you can order the game with a uh, dice here or some people do not like to play with dice. We also created the game with the ability to um, to spin versus roll the dice. So it's it's each it's um, it's up to you whatever you prefer. Um, also, we have six different players. So so people say, okay, how many players? Um, you can really play this game with one child, but to be honest, um, adding a second child always makes it fun. So I would say two to six players. Um, one of the cool things about the Nakayo game is that we created um, characters. So the pawns aren't just you know, little plastic pawns. They are actually different characters that have different names. Um, they are fictional characters or fictional angels. And so each character comes with a pack of, of stickers that you can, I'll get a little bit closer here, that you can see that uh, Uriel, the angel. We have Gabriel here, Michael. Um, and again, Seraphim and Cherifim, we created fictional characters. Obviously, they, they did come from the Bible, but again, they are fictional, okay? We don't need any Bible scholars telling us that that's not accurate. This is a family um, fun game, and we took some truths of the Bible and made them come alive. So we're really excited about it. The artwork, um, the one thing that I really love about the game pieces, if you can see, get a little bit closer, is that they're all uh, culturally diverse. We have, you know, some African American representation, some Asians, um, some Caucasians. We even have um, some Indian, and then we have some that don't don't have any ethnic cultures at all um, because they're hidden behind. Uh, their armor so we don't know what they are but it doesn't matter I just felt like it was cool to create pawns um, where children maybe can identify with one of them based off of their diverse culture all right and so in the game each everyone each game pretty much has a game bag um, with a drawstring this is to keep all the game pieces the dice 
um, all in one place so you don't lose it. Um, some of the last things that you'll find is, is the fiery darts and we're going to talk about the fiery darts. So you'll see these little cardboard cutted pieces of fiery darts that the children can earn um, throughout the game and then eventually turn them in for pieces of armor. So let's just start with the armor cards. You know, the aim of the game is for the first child to earn all six pieces of the armor of God, right? Um, they win. And so we have the sword of the spirit. We have pretty much every piece of armor um, written in the Bible. So this, this game was inspired by the Bible. Um, and it's so much fun because not only um, are we teaching our children now um, the di different golden nuggets and proverbs and all throughout the word of God, we now are empowering them on how do we use the word of God in our everyday lives, right? And so, so we have the belt of truth. Um, your shoes fitted with the gospel of peace or the readiness of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, and the helmet of salvation. And so the goal is for your children to earn um, one of the five pieces of armor. The first child that earns all of the pieces of armor wins the game. So some people may say, how long does this game last? Um, I have played the game over a series of years and um, the shortest game was about 30 minutes and that that's kind of unique it does depend on the amount of dialogue that your children are providing through the questions but 30 minutes um, one game lasted all the way up to two hours it was great dialogue um, and it just took the children that amount of time for someone to win and so it is a great game for families social workers teachers sunday school teachers um name it pretty much anyone who has any connection to children i feel this game will be a great benefit to you um the, the game was created to get kids talking talking about those topics that may not come up in our everyday lives right and so our first uh group of second group of cards that we're going to talk about is the let's chat cards and it's about 50 cards 50 different topics random topics they were chosen by children and created um, simple things that you just might want to get to know about your kids. What is your favorite thing to do? Um, one of the questions in here says, when you're upset, what do you do? How do you respond? Where do you go? You know, and um, so over the years, obviously playing it for so many years, I have found so much about my children. And my hope is that you will too. And you'll learn di different aspects of your children that you may not have learned before. And as a facilitator, AKA parent, um, you you can guide your t children through the various scenarios and situations that are scripted in the game. Um, that leads us to our trial cards. Our trial cards are um, a 50 different trials ranging from bullying, self-identity. Um, there's even some cards that are marked that kind of give you a heads up. Hey, the content in this card um, may be, um, you know, anything dealing with, you know, lust or perversion or thoughts or, you know, um, inappropriate behaviors, right? So it's putting your child in real life situations and getting Getting them and giving them, I should say, an opportunity to have a template response. So if your if your child picked up one of the trial uh, trial cards, and it may say that you constantly find yourself daydreaming about things you know are wrong. You want the thoughts to go away, but you're not sure. So now we have this opportunity to talk to our children about how do we get rid of those thoughts that are considered, you know, bad thoughts. What do you do? Asking them those questions. And they may say, this happens a lot. I don't know what to do. It's now an opportunity for you as a parent to first realize that this is happening. And then second, what do we do when we have bad thoughts, right? Guiding your child into um, emotional and um, a, a healthy thought life and giving them to the tools on how to beat up those bad thoughts. And so the next um, deck, and I believe there's 120 treasure chests and uh, the treasure chests are really interesting because um, they're, they're built all throughout the game board and um, there's two different types of treasure treasure chest cards that you could receive one is a golden nugget right and so the golden nugget is maybe a proverbs or i call gold nugget scripture right but it's on a, a particular topic and so it's it's a card that your child can 
um, you know, keep when they get it. And if they come up against a trial that uh, may reference that particular topic, they can go into their toolkit and say, wait, I remember there, there was a trial about maybe respecting their parents or disrespecting their parents. And here's a golden nugget card that talks about Exodus 2012, where it says, honor your father and mother so that your life may be long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. And so another treasure chest cool thing about the treasure chest is also bible trivia in here and so if your child gets the bible trivia card they have the opportunity to answer bible trivia and earn what we call a fiery dart and so if they answer correctly they get one fiery dart the cool thing is once your child earns five of the fiery darts guess what they can do they can turn five pieces of the fiery dart for one of the pieces of armor, okay? And so there's multiple ways to earn. Um, there's multiple ways to earn um, armor, pieces of armor, because remember, that is the end game, to earn all the pieces of armor. And so we want to make sure that it's fun and that they are progressing and earning armor. But... In your treasure chest also there's one there's one card that says choose one piece of armor from another player because sometimes in life we get ahead and then the enemy comes and he begins to take what we've earned and so we're teaching our child that you know what do you do when someone takes uh takes something from you but then there's this cool card that says you get to choose a piece of armor um from another player and now there's some strategy that happens in the game as well and then i believe the last um, the last treasure chest that you can get is the hedge card and the hedge card is really strategic. So let's say, um, you know, the player is going around the board and they land or lose a piece of armor. Well, if they have one of those hedge cards, they can turn it into the facilitator and, and basically they don't have to lose a turn. Okay, and then the last card on the game board is the comforter card. This represents the Holy Spirit, right? And so let's say your child is going through a, tri a trial and they don't know how to answer that question. So if they have a comforter card, because each player should have one starting the game, they can turn in their comforter card and the facilitator, aka mom, dad, teacher, Sunday school parent, can give them some hints on answering that trial card, giving them the ability to what? To earn a fiery dart. So that is just another way of your child being able to earn fiery darts that can then be turned into uh, pieces of armor to hopefully win the game. All right, and so the way that the game works just very practically is your child will roll a dice and let's say that they're this white little pawn here. They will simply move the dice five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if your child lands on the feet, and I hope my camera can catch this, if your child can land, land on the feet, there's nothing to do. They just continue on their journey, okay? And they roll again. One, two, landed on the feet. Try to speed this up so we can get to some of the action squares. Up, oh, we landed on one. They landed on a trial. So at that point, you, the parent, pretty much picks all of the deck. The child does not pick from the deck. You, the parent, will pick from the trial deck and then commence into reading that particular trial, trial to that child, okay? If they answer correctly and they give a positive response, guess what they do? They earn a fiery dart. All right, and then they just keep rolling. Every child gets a turn. And so you may roll twice and you land on tre treasure chest. You pick from the treasure chest card. Um, you may land, land on let's chat. Then you pick from the let's chat pile, okay? Um, if they land on lose a piece of armor, it's self-explanatory. They lose a piece of armor. If they don't have any armor, then there's no action that is taken, okay? And so as they commence around the, the board, let's say your child rolls and they, they land on where it says earn armor. Well, there's a picture that corresponds to the, the type of armor that they were earned, that they were earned, excuse me. It's a tongue twister here. And so earn armor, this looks like the belt. All right, so what you would do is give them the belt of truth. So um, if that's their first piece of armor, they have one out of five and they are well on their way to earning and winning the game. And other ways to earn armor are not just turning in your fiery darts, but earning them, but also landing on the squares. Now. My last um, instructions that I want to give you guys is rapid fire round. 
Rapid fire is ultimately my favorite round. It is the round that we typically have the child stand up and we throw accusations at the child. Now we've been playing this game for about five years in my house. And so my children kind of know that, you know, we, we go for it. We go for, um, you know, we may go for the way you look or the way you dress. We really try to pull for, for accusations that may happen in a bullying situation. I try to throw at my child something that maybe they may be dealing with. Why? Because now I'm able to empower them with a response and then empower them with knowing what does God say about you? And so for example, the child may stand up, we give them 60 seconds on the top on the on the stopwatch or a clock, and each player that plays in the game begins to throw accusations. I want you to see the video that I posted with my children playing rapid fire for some examples. And then, based on every accusation or fiery dart that they distinguish, guess what they earn? A fiery dart. And so, if there's five other players that are playing the game along with your child, and they've done a great job with, you know, distinguishing the fiery darts by, you know, coming with a positive response or a golden nugget or the word of God, then they potentially can earn five of the particular arrows and then ultimately turn them in for a piece of armor all right guys that's it for today please um subscribe to our video for nakayo more videos will be coming out as my writer writing team and myself continue writing we will be updating the deck of cards so please stay connected join our mailing list we're so excited that you've decided to join the nakayo family bless you